All right, this is going to be a very, very basic video on what can replace the Avisys IO dock. And that's just any USB MIDI audio interface. All right, with the USB camera connection kit, not the $30 one. When I got from Hong Kong, I mean, it's made in China. Why are you going to pay extra? Because they sell it in the iPad store. That's just retarded. So I ordered one from China. It was about three, four dollars. That was with shipping, right? Ridiculously cheap. Um, USB came, cable came with the um, Tascam US800 right there. Eight in, six outs. Um, 96K, 24-bit resolution. So a solid interface, right? And this is only like 99 bucks or something like that. Uh, so yeah, it's, I think it's way better than the Alesis IO dock. For one, your app set have tilt control. You can pick up your iPad, tilt it for the tilt control. The guitar apps, you want to put it in your lap, actually play it like a guitar. You could do that. You really can't do that with the um, Alesis IO dock. So the only thing the Alesis IO dock has is the video out that this doesn't have. But that video out isn't high definition and it doesn't work with most of your music apps really it doesn't work with any music app um, until they upgrade that so i think that's basically retarded um and this you can use things like this program right here um like a real vnc you can just youtube how to do that and this actually puts what's on your ipad onto your computer screen so that's just like a video out and it's working with my music program, my music app. So all around, I think this is just a way, smarter way to do it. I don't want to call the people dumb that uh, went ahead and bought the Alesis IO dock. But I, I will say they're sheep. They just follow the herd and listen to what the big companies tell them to do instead of thinking for themselves. But um, anyway, we have... Um, FL Studio just playing a classical MIDI file that I edited slightly. You probably can hear that. Um, so they don't try to hit me with any kind of silly copyright infringement bush. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, I could change this from touching the iPad or on that screen program I just showed you. I can actually just click with my mouse and keyboard so if I'm working on my out of my DAW with my computer hands on the mouse I can keep my hand on my mouse and still tweak stuff going on in the iPad if I wanted to um, all right so you've seen that now let's let's make the iPad control a DAW program let's make the iPad control a VSTI instrument inside of your computer So just um, I got to turn down the audio or the monitor level for my iPad. That's my iPad sound going out into the system right through my mixer over here. Um, so we're going to change that. I'm going to switch and use a program called Sound Prism Pro because this app, when you press one finger, it allows you to, to play chords. Um, which is dope, you know. So, just have FL keys up, real basic, dumb, stupid, basic. Um, VSTI comes with FL. You know, you can scroll through, get your different colors, which represents your different scales. You know, you could tweak this. So it's just basic. Single note are back up to your chords. You know, I'm kind of rushing through this just to show you how it all works. Um, later, I'm going to hit you with a more in depth uh, tutorial, whatever you want to call it. Um, but yeah, now with GarageBand. Play our MIDI file again. Turn up our monitor so we hear it. And um, 
Yeah, it's it's the it's a cheaper version of the Alesis dock. Uh, that gives you more freedom and better quality with the 96K 24-bit resolution. Um, more ins and outs, if I didn't say that already. Um, just ridiculously worth it, you know what I'm saying? So here we are, um, controlling GarageBand, a classic grand piano. I could switch it to whatever instrument I want, whatever piano I want. You know, and it's just, it's, it's official, you know what I'm saying? It's, turn up the reverb on this track. It's really sound coming from the iPad, really controlled by FL Studio or any DAW, you know what I'm saying? So I guess a basic run through of my setup is a MIDI 4x4, grab the camera, try to zoom it in, an M Audio 4x4 uh, MIDI IO, the USBs to my computer, right? And then camera connection kit, go into the task cam that accepts MIDI control, has a MIDI in and out, back in the back, right? So that's going to my M Audio 4x4, along with my other gear, MPC, Corp Triton, and uh, yeah, you guys should peep it. If you're thinking about expanding the capability of your iPad, you want your apps and your program to MIDI sync with what you're doing in your computer, I would highly recommend doing it this way over messing with that um, that I.O. doc, man. Like I said, you can pick up your iPad with a guitar apps and, you know, strum it like it's a, a guitar in your lap. You could do that with this. You know, it's just one little USB wire. Um, can't do that with the I.O. doc. So, um, yeah, that's my video, man. I'm going to hit you with some more stuff, maybe a studio update, really fill you in on all the new stuff. But All right, I almost forgot one of the most important parts to record in from the task cam into something on your iPad, right? So in this example, I'm just going to use the sampler. Right, right. Just grabbed a little dynamic microphone, the quarter inch plug. Um, phantom power is off in the back of this joint. Just gonna plug it up. Turn the mic on. Turn up channel one. All right, check, check. Now you can see if I So record that. Yo, mic check. So now. Yo, mic check. So yeah, that's it. You can see it actually records. That's not the iPad mic. You can tell from me tapping. My battery's getting low, so that's my video. Peace.